I cut my knee. Hello and welcome to the final podcast, the last podcast you'll ever listen to. Mm. Your final bros are here. It's Brian Hopper LaGrosta and Shane fucking whore Smith. He's a fucking whore. Yep. That's he likes right. when I do this too. That's he for loves sure. It. I hate it. He's Matt unfortunately it. couldn't be here today, our producer. What? So I'm running back and forth. Doing yeah, both. He, he, good. he's gonna be. Brian's gonna be on the move in this episode. What's yeah. Matt? And doing? for the next few Where's episodes, Matt? Matt yeah. Where are you? He'll be back. He'll be back. Mike G on the pod as well. We've mentioned that. Hola. Hi. Week three of That's Travel the- Horror Month, folks. That's Spanish. What yes. I said. I'm learning Spanish now. Well, we're we're doing our travel horror month. We we've been to Europe. We've been to Brazil. We're well now. It's traveled. time to go to the Mayan temples of Mexico. Mexico. My brother Dude. was just there. Mexico. Yeah. Can I get the remote, please? Oh, of course, of course. Oh. Give that remote to him. Thanks Dude, for help. Thanks for obliging. Do you like fucking uh, singing shrubbery? Do you like sh- killer shrubbery? Do you like unnecessary cheating plot points? <laughs> this is the movie for you. <laughs> this movie has a lot of good, but it has yeah. some minor things that really take away from the movie. Oh, yeah, like they're like minor aspects of the movie with major backlash. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, honestly, it's true. Um, like the kind of backlash that'll knock you down like four or five points. Yeah, like backlash 03. Yeah. Great PPV. Classic. Goldberg was on that one, I think. Yeah. Hootie Wrestle, Kevin Nash. Oh, my God. Probably. See, this is where Matt would hit the thing, and I can't because it's all the way over there. <sighs> God, I'm going to miss drops. I'm going to miss calling somebody a slave. It's all good. To be yeah. to be fair, it, the reschedule is on me. Totally on me. Nothing to do with Matt. He, I'm going to go ahead he, and give you a pass and blame it on Matt. Yeah, yeah it's it's Matt's fault. Because he's probably hanging out with his friends down the shore, and, and, and I, I, he should be going, he should be abandoning them and yes, coming up here like a exactly, good slave. Exactly. Priorities. Exactly. Like if he was here right now... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, You can just beat him the next time he is here. I'm going to beat it. Yeah, I'm going to beat his ass. Good, good. Love that. Love that energy. Love that fire. Uh, Love that for us. The ruins. I love the spooky pit. Do you know what? Yeah, the spooky pit's going to come out. You know what's interesting, though? I realized our 2000, like our travel movie is all, like basically all 2000s movies except for the last, the final film. Yeah. Yeah. Early 2000s had a lot of travel. It's all travel hard, dude. Traveler, you want you want to know? It was Eli. He he spawned a new generation of travelers. Well, it was also Euro trip and road trip. We were all about trips back then. You know what's amazing? Which one's better though? Hold on, hold on. That's actually better. That's a great question. (laughs) That's a great question. I'm gonna go with road trip. Yes. Yo, hard agree. Hard agree as well. Euro trip's still great. Might be a hot take. Euro trip's overrated. I'm gonna disagree with that. Michelle Trachtenberg wasn't a ten. How old is she in that movie? That felt weird. She's young, right? I, I mean, she's, no she's definitely over 18, though. Yeah, okay. In that movie. So she wasn't 10. <laughs> that movie would you be. You also have to think about when that movie came out, we were like 13. Yeah, I got some like, some like young man boners from that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. We were young when that movie yeah. came out. Uh, but yeah, horror traveling. It's it was a popular genre. I'm sure there's others I could think about because we did go through a list of like ten to fifteen movies we considered for this month. There are so many travel horror movies, but like I feel like the 2000s were really big on it. Yeah, because we were at a time where Europe was scary. It still is. It dude. is. You couldn't pay me to go there, <laughs> but you kind of debunked that. You went there, m- m- murder. I mean, you were the danger, right? You yeah. were the danger. Europe is afraid of me is what you were yeah, saying. Yeah, and they should be. Uh, well, not everybody, just the females. Okay, well, with that said, I'm scared. You're scared. Where else would we go except Brad, you, the spooky Hold pit. on, do you know the scariest part about Europe? What's the scariest An part? over <laughs> condom blowjob. Oh, it's terrifying. Well, I thought the scariest part was that Brian had to get up to hit the button for the spooky. That's going to get real annoying. That wasn't it. That was the wrong button, too. There it is. God, Matt. Oh. oh the Ruins was released in 2008. 
great. Mayan ruins on an offbeat path where the flowers croon. This film was directed by Carter Smith, and it stars the Sean Ashmore as Eric, Shane's heartthrob Jenna Malone as Amy, Jonathan yes, Tucker as Jeff, Laura Ramsey as Stacy, and Joe Anderson as Matthias. The character you think is going to be super suspect is actually just a nice guy who gets totally fucked over. He's yeah. there to die. Ah, uh, Matthias. I, I thought he was setting them up at first. At the Everybody line. That's did. what I got. I thought he was going to... It was going to be a movie about got. crime, about robbery. Passion. But really, it's a movie about passion and about Mayans. What so. is like? What is a German doing in Mexico, first of all? So I don't like, know. Why is he also just hanging out with only Greeks? Yeah, he's hanging out with the Greeks. And the Greeks just like to sleep. Maybe he's got to get them, too. Ooh. You want a fucking captain, by the way? <laughs> yeah, take a captain. Okay. I'm more so upset with that joke. So, guys. You got it, though, right? It was so bad. Thank you. I think the decision for them to go to this Mayan temple was made very hastily, uh, seeing as they were all at a pool, and this German guy, Matthias, comes over, Rando, because he finds her ring that she lost. Yep. And they're talking, and he's like, you guys want to go to a Mayan temple? They're like, sure. And, and Jeff's like, guys, this is like our last day. When are we ever to go to an offbeat Mayan temple? It sounds totally safe. We should all go. And everyone's like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, no convincing whatsoever. Yeah, like, literally, that was it. Everyone's like, yep, yeah, down. Do you know the level of convincing it would take me? I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> you wouldn't just go to a Mayan temple? No. <laughs> would you go to a tour of a Mayan temple? I would go to an organized tour. Not the offbeat no. ar archaeological dig Look, Mayan I, temple. I love that stuff, but not in a foreign yeah, country. Not with a guy we literally just met yeah. two seconds ago. No. You don't trust his his lamb taxi? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know why? <laughs> Do you want to know why he was shady? Why? Did he have the girl's earring on his person? Yes. <laughs> he, he just fucking, what, did he take it from her? That's what I, so that's why I thought he was shady because they, they filmed it like he stole the, uh, he the probably ring. He did. Yeah. And was like setting them up to take them there to rob them. I just think he nicely took it. And by nicely meaning like he probably didn't know it was theirs, took it to have it, and then realized it was theirs and gave it gave back. It back. Okay, so that's, yeah, because Matthias is a nice guy. He is a nice guy. He he's, turns out to be nice. He almost bangs this chick, I no, think. But he doesn't, he, though, he, because he's actually such a nice yeah, guy. He's like, you're, uh, he's like yeah. Jeff seems nice. Trust I think, me, if blonde chick didn't step in, he was plowing. No, he was actually trying to push yeah. her off because you could yeah. see he's he, signaling for he, them. He makes a note. Like, he moves his head and he does point over like to get your friend. Uh, he, he okay. does it. Yeah, it's right here. Cause it, she, he literally says, "How's your boyfriend?" Jeff seems nice, and then he like he's he's like begging them to come over. Yeah, we're Great watching. Guy. We're watching this in real time. Uh oh, as we uh, he probably do. shouldn't we have done do. the dancing to begin with. To be yeah. fair, yeah, but it was a little. He wanted to be nice, but he he does kind of set the boundaries. And yeah, she she's just hammered. <laughs> now this was Shane. Never. See? Yeah, See the point. Yeah, the yeah, point. Yeah, okay, the point. all right, I missed it. You she, but Shane right. loves Jenna Malone. I do. Isn't she on Neon Demon? That's what I was telling Mike on the car right here. Just she's also it. in The Hunger Games. She's also Donnie Darko's girlfriend, right? That's and right. That is fucking See, this right. This is the point where I would ask Matt for a fact check on Jenna Malone. I already did it all. Yeah, because I knew Matt wasn't going to be here, so I was looking up facts yeah. as we drove here. You're preemptive facts. I'm preemptive facting. I, I felt like he was a strong lead character. He was not bad. He He's knew not, what to do in most situations. He was going to be a doctor. Yeah, he definitely wasn't 22, but yeah, sure. <laughs> How old do you think he is? In this He's thing? like, I'm 22. He clearly looks 32, like easily. I'd peg him for 30, which is, as we've established before, a great age. <laughs> Probably the best age. He's super fit, though. He's chiseled as fuck. Yeah, yeah. pops his shirt off eventually. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, I will say, before we get into this plot any further, that there is a cold open, and the cold open is this girl in, in a dark... She's in the ruins, obviously. It's very dark, and she's getting whisked away by something that you can't see. It's extremely dull open, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Right. So, basically, Jenna Malone tries to cheat on Jeff with Matias. It doesn't happen. Uh, she's and you know strong. she's done it before. Hold on, we got to point this out. That's a naked girl. Would you or would you not? Yeah. See, he admitted it. See that? Like my question was like, would you bash your face in? <laughs> <laughs> and then you were just like, yeah, I'd do it. Not even a thought. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's okay. How used to you are um, bashing face. Yeah, that you're being sick. There's the oral sex scene, which well, he was owed because they basically made a bet. Is she gonna attempt to kiss him? 
oral sex on the line. He bet yes. She bet no because she believes her friend. She actually had to get her friend because she was doing nasty things. And he is owed the oral. And he's not going to leave the bed this morning until he gets a blowjob. Which he gets, so he leaves the bed. Uh, Jenna Malone doesn't want to leave. She's hungover. She said, just leave me in this hotel room. But Jeff pretty much makes her. Go to this Mayan temple. I'm telling you, he's stern. She's puking right now. She's There's no way I'm taking a shower with this girl puking next to me. There's no way. You would feel that it would ruin the aura of your shower. Well, when I, I don't take showers, I just take baths because I'm weird. Yeah. But like that would ruin for me. It'd ruin the experience if someone was throwing up. I would. I would probably actually my day would be over. <laughs> I would go home. You might as well just start over again, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah go to bed. It's pretty much over get the next day. <laughs> so the four of them are going to meet up with Matthias and his boy. Yeah, because the Greeks are, uh, he notices the Greeks are, they're passed out. Yeah, so he's going to leave the Greeks. The Greeks are going to meet up with them. So they go, they get into that shady truck with that man who is like, no, I can't take you there. It's dangerous. And then they give him $5 and he's like, I can take you there. <laughs> I can he's trying it. to make ends meet, Shane. Give him a break. Yeah, well, he's he does. So he takes them to the temple and it's a lot of hiking through the woods. Like, they have to, like... Right. It takes them a while to get there. Now, they're meeting up with his friend that was there the day before, right? Or two days before, Matthias, he says, right? I thought... Yeah, and I thought he was meeting up with his brother, right? Yeah, like that's what it is. It's his, his brother. brother yeah. Heinrich. Yes. And that uh, cell phone you hear ringing constantly? It's that's, Heinrich's. It's his And doesn't this phone. guy who's leading them through look like Mike Benanti when he was 13? Yes. I could see the stance, <laughs> the neck. He's got a little bit of all the going. Where's the, the posture. Le- where's the bra leather? Worst, bra worst, yeah. 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 Uh, so they're going to get to this temple. Jenna Malone never complains. She complains the entire movie. She should have never. I don't know why he forced her to go. She was not well. She's she no. really stern. I don't know why <laughs> anyone would want to do this. This is so sketchy. Yeah. Right? And think about the heat. Think about the humidity. It's all of it. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's gonna be, you know there's going to be a lot of bugs. Shane loves bugs. Hate it. I wouldn't want to go. Loves bugs. That's the horror for Shane. Shane doesn't care about the killer plants. He, he yeah. worries about the bugs. I do. I do. The bugs could be probably... The bugs are more dangerous than the plants. West Nile. Yellow fever. Ebola. Malaria. It's all there. <laughs> it's all the bugs. Ebola is like... What is that? Fruit bats? Fruit yeah, bats? I think it's fruit bats, Mike. Oh. God, get your diseases right. <laughs> so, they're going to get to the Mayan temple... They're going to be taking some photos. Jenna Malone has a camera. That's a good point. It's a good yep, call out, Shane. It's very important because as they're taking photos, angry Mayans are going to run out. It's a great call out, Shane. There's a lot of angry Mayans. Are you going to talk about those kids? Yeah. Wait. wait. You're walking through. You see these, these these young kids. Are you watching the movie? It's right there on the well, screen. Well, I'm talking about the pockets. If I just stare at You see those under 13s? Time, that's kind of my role. <laughs> just <laughs> watch. <laughs> so I'm a watcher. You know this. Yeah. Let's rewind real quick. So uh, what's his name? Matia? Matias. <laughs> He leaves like a copy of the map. Is that true? For his he, like friends yeah, the, later. Uh, Did he bring that it, up? It's actually not Matthias. It's actually him. It, it's Jeff that does it. Jeff leaves it under their their head when they're uh, sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he, dude, you're he, right. He jogs yeah. back. Yeah. Because they're passed out. Because smart move by Jeff. Yeah. He does call it out later that the Greeks are gonna come save us because they have the map. That's every horror movie. Like, oh no, no, no you have that one reassuring character. They gotta come. They gotta come. I mean, they do come, but still. Yeah. Pretty much Teresa's all over again. Yeah. Relying on, what was his name, Coco or something like that? Coco. I, yeah, can't, I, think I, I was... can't remember his name. Oh, 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 Kiko? Was Kiko. Kiko? That's it. Kiko is the boy. He Tell sucked. You. He sucked. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they get to, the, the Mayans start to surround them, and they're, they're just yelling at them until right. Jenna Malone takes a picture and that's why you think the minds are upset at first. Yeah, and that's when they start getting violent. I literally love how they don't have subtitles for them. They don't want you to know what they're right. saying. Yes. It's actually pretty pretty good. You think it's, it's real words or just like gibberish? No, I think it's real Mayan. Oh, no, Mayan's not even a real culture. The whole thing's made up. Yeah. Look it up. They, it's have, a, a, they, it's, have, a, they have a calendar. They're not even on the fucking map, Shane. <laughs> But they have a calendar. Chart the damn map. They have the Mayan calendar. It's literally a made up it culture. It ended in 2012. <laughs> it's a made up I calendar. I saw the John Cusack movie. Was that a good one? No. Is Joan in it? Who? Joan. Joan Cusack. Oh, no. She's in Shameless, though. I've never seen the show. Joan. Joan? I never, I've never seen the show. Big fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. You like Joan? <laughs> we love Joan on the show. Do we? Yeah. Big Joan C- Cusack Shane, fans? if you were a girl, how big would your tits be? Would you be like... Really sporting somewhere. I don't know. How do you know that? 
I would have fat titties for sure. I have tits right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe I would. You would have a dumpy though. I could tell. Probably. I could see that. Brian would have a nice, firm, like, in per- shape ass. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be all over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> My tits would not be big, though. I'd have, no, like, Brian small would be little like a boobs. Small little, little boobs. natural boobs, but, like, a great little ass. I think I'd have, like, a great, great... <laughs> I would probably have, like, a tight little ass. Firm little ass. Like, nothing that's just gonna, like... Um, like break the jeans out, but yeah. definitely look. Okay. You put you put me in a dress string, and it's gonna look solid. It's gonna look good. Shane, on the other hand, put some sweats on him. You'd still see that thing. Yeah, just a fat fucking dumpy, and I'd be all <laughs> over that. <laughs> Shane would get cellulite real quick. Where are you going? He's gonna. <laughs> it's just, Do you know the button? <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> This is so fun without a producer. <laughs> See, okay. I had to hit something. Was there okay. was way too much going on. What was life okay. like like all of our other episodes that we've ever done ever without a producer? That shit was yeah. tough. Like Matt's a slave and I want to like beat him, but <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of good work. He does. He also yeah. looks, he's good, looks up facts. Yeah. So we're gonna try to bribe these Mayans because they know what we're talking about. What is and she doing? Taking photos of the angry Mayan. <laughs> can't does. Fucking stand her. They have horses. She's hung over, Mike. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> like they have machetes and horses. You think that they're gonna be pleasant? Like, like is this gonna be a good exchange? Well, they learn they aren't pleasant because Matthias's cannon father friend gets hit with an arrow and shot directly in the face like right away they try to give him like the camera like you want the camera here's the Mm -hmm. camera he's here's also the only working phone that we have because i'm looking for my brother heinrich he takes the phone and then he shoots the guy right like what does he do first he shoots Shoots him him with an arrow and then he and then he literally just shoots him in the fucking head. Yeah, yeah. like dead center face. It's like a face shot. It's actually pretty cool start to this movie. Yeah, and you're like, oh my god, this is gonna be a good movie. The flowers are definitely not gonna talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> they do do a good job though of making you think at first it was her taking pictures of the camera, they, but then when like walk, watching it again, you notice it's every time someone steps in the plants. Yeah, I I do think that this movie does something really cool though, and like. He's definitely been anti when he was 13. But they, like, it's interesting because they don't move past the outskirts, right? Yes. Like, they, they're completely surrounded. And the whole theme is just, like, usually in a movie, you're trying to, like, you're running away from somebody. So you're, you're yeah. escaping with people chasing you. Yeah. This movie, they're, like, quarantining them yeah, it's actually to the Mayan ruin. So it's like a, definitely an interesting structure, and I did I did enjoy that. Like I'm like this is pretty sick. That guy just got shockingly shot in the head. They're running up these ruins, which I don't know why they'd go to in the first place, but they're there. Mm-hmm. They say there's about fifty Mayans around. There's fucking four. <laughs> yeah, I always like I guess like the idea is like you can't get down the back. That's of the what, temple. That was my but thought like, the entire time. I think I would attempt it. I would have tried. They said there's like 50 of them. There's literally five or six. In well, all, there's in all women honesty. and children. Yeah, there's women and children. And but like strong Mayan men, there's like three of them. Yeah. 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 So their phones don't work. They stole the one phone that does work. You think you're getting service and, out there? No. And Matias' brother is missing. So... They don't know what to do. They don't have food and they don't have much water. So they got to devise a plan. How are they getting out of here? Well, they hear a phone ringing down in the temple. So they're going to do the plan of tying a rope to Matias, the heaviest man there, and slowly <laughs> lowering him into they, the pit. So he's like really like not thinking clearly in gung ho to find his brother Heinrich. They're like scanning through the tents. They don't see Heinrich anywhere to be found. Where the hell is Heinrich? You know what I mean? Yeah. And of course, he's got the only working phone, like you mentioned, Munich Mobile, and he gave it to the fucking Mayan. So now there's no, there's no phone. It was and now, a bartering chip, though. So now they're gonna, they have this weird pulley system where they're gonna put a rope on him and they're gonna lower him down into the middle of the Mayan ruin. Well, they also get to the top of the, what is this? A uh, fucking temple? Temple? Pyramid? There's tents. There's. Heinrich stuff. Heinrich, yeah, it's Heinrich stuff. This is so fucking Mexico, bro. Like I can't even. Eh? So as they lower Matias down. They randomly get binoculars because they have those <laughs> out of nowhere. Um, the While Matias is being lowered down, the rope like breaks instantly. 
Like, I think he goes, like, four feet before the rope. Dude, like, wouldn't you like, examine the rope before right. you do yeah. this? Like, they really did not think this he through. He falls a long way. Yeah, well, so this is the thing, right? So you're going to find out he's alive and his back is broken. He's paralyzed. I don't think he would have survived that fall. No, he's probably Definitely not. Well, even if you think you're dead, there's no way you're not going to hit your head on the ground. Because even if you're That's back, what I'm the, saying. the force is going to make you, you hit your head. It's just guaranteed. Yeah, as a, there's no way he's surviving that fall. No, uh, it was farther than like a. Yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah, but he's a, he's alive actually. S- yeah, somehow. Jenna Malone is not complaining. Still, I just want to call it out. <laughs> she complains the entire time. She literally I'm call is. That out. She's a brutal complainer throughout this whole film. Um, so basically, they get the idea that they have to save Matthias. Yeah, even though it's a terrible idea to it's send more people down. A horrendous idea. So he was better off just dying on impact. But there's a working phone down there, so they got to go down there. So they send down the blonde girl first, right? Well, her and Jenna Malone, they they hug each other, and they're like, which one of us is going to go down because we're the lightest? And there's no way Jenna Malone was going to choose to go down voluntarily. She's busy complaining. (laughs) The other girl's just like, I'll go. And she's just like, oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) I (laughs) love that for me. Yeah. So the other girl's going to go down but the rope isn't long enough, which is another thing I feel like they should be measuring. Yes. You'd think. You'd think they would like plan this out a little bit better, seeing as they have all the time in the world to do that, and they rush into everything. Especially because they built a really good like like gurney, essentially, for this guy. Yes. but So basically, the blonde girl goes down, she cuts her leg... And she's like, he, he, his back is broken. He needs help. Bro, so that, that's when Jeff and Jenna Malone go down to ask the Mayans for help for Matias. Bro, right? I'm not going to lie to you. That cut, though, was fucking yeah. brutal. That deep glass. In her that is a deep. Is it glass that she fell on? It was a glass from the lantern. That, I think it was glass from Matias's lantern. Yeah, dude, that cut her so bad because it actually like pulled on her jeans. Yeah. Um, I know she pulls it out later. Like, that thing is going to be. That, that, that's just not a good cut. Yeah. So that's when Jeff and Jenna Malone go down to the Mayans again. And they're like, our, our friend Matias is hurt. He needs help. Doctor, please help us. And that's when they just keep pointing guns at them. And that's when it's Jenna Malone picks up the plant and throws it at that small boy. Yeah, there's a, there's a random small tribesman boy. So my opinion, this scene, from here on, like this scene's great. Then after this, the movie starts. Oh, oh yes, yeah, tanking hard. Yeah, this is a good scene though. This scene is awesome because they're begging the mines for help. They're pleading and they won't help. So Jenna Malone, complaining, takes the 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 plant and just chucks it at this boy, and he gets without hesitation. Yeah. Papa Mayan just <laughs> shoots this kid right in the head. in the head. Yeah, in front of his mom. Yeah. So then you know it's some kind of weird contagion. There. That's why they're not going past the dirt mm-hmm. into the Mayan ruins, and they're holding them there. They're protecting them there. Why yeah. would they still be here is another good question, but they're, like, protecting this for some reason. So th- I think they even go into detail where, like, the Mayans salt the dirt so that the plant can't grow past that area. Yeah. So the Mayans do. are, like, the protectors of the world. Yeah, it's true. They're protecting this from leaving. They're, they're- yeah. They are the only reason Mexico hasn't collapsed. It's true. <laughs> And they're painted as bad guys, but like technically they're no, like technically the Mayans yeah. are the good guys. They're like Mr. They're like the biohazard boys. Yeah. They're kind of like they'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah even literally shooting a young boy in the head. A young tribes. They're boy. like the, the the rock in Doom, right? Mm. He was sent out on a mission. Yeah. He had to do whatever it took to contain the Doom. So he just starts mowing down innocent civilians. <laughs> kind of like the Mayans. Got it. Let's build this gurney. <laughs> So, yeah, we're just building gurney. It's made out of sticks and rocks and gurney. And canvas from the tent. And yes. We're and we're going to make it work. Mm-hmm. And that's Aaron Ashmore's brother, Sean. Yep. <laughs> he, you may know him as Iceman in the the uh, X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're going to now lower both both girls down so they could do the worst job I've ever seen. Two chicks, support, one gurney. Supporting someone's neck and spine. Uh, yeah. They're not versed in it. Like, would not, you, I wouldn't know what to they're do. They're not versed in it, and there's this one girl who like feels really guilty of the fact that she really makes his injury worse. But I think he's already kind of fucked to start he's with. He's so fucking cooked. If I was him, laying there, like 
completely. I would have been like, take that glass that sh- slaughtered and your knee and just fucking kill me, dude. Yeah, no, but my like, throat with it. Matias gets saved multiple times in this movie, right? Because like, it's funny how they like save him in the in the most crazy ways, and they let him die in like the pos- most possibly overlooked fashion. They just like turn a blind eye, and he's just dead. He's just cooked. <laughs> it's it's because they're like, <laughs> sorry. It's because they're fighting, right? In that one scene, yep. and they just ignore the fact that he's being strangled by a, a, a plant that's now alive. Thank God yeah, he chopped so, his legs off. So from this point on, this movie really becomes about shrubbery. Yes. <laughs> so because once they put Matthias on the gurney and he's being lifted up, isn't that when they start to hear the phone ring down there? Yeah, like they start yeah. to hear the phone ring, and then <laughs> and then like they look at it, and it's just like this little red vibrating flower. And it's so funny because you don't see a gosh darn red flower until this point of the movie. And now there's red flowers everywhere. everywhere. They're everywhere, Shaney. And this is the, my problem with the movie. Tell me. So I like You want the, a captain, though? I like, no. You need I like one, the you idea need Grab a captain. of the Mayans <laughs> protecting this temple. I like the idea of the plants being this, like, contagion that needs to be contained. I don't like that the plants are smart and can mimic human speech. I, I just feel like it's completely and totally unneeded. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there could have been something else down there that, honestly, like, it could have been some kind of shape-shifting demon that would have been better. I just think it should have been that the plants grow in you. Like, if you're cut and the plant touches you, it grows I'm, vines I'm in you. I'm fine with the growing plants, the mimic thing. They didn't even have to go down that route. Yeah. If you wanted to go down that route, the lo- like, that's the plot device to get them in the ruins. Just so you know, like, that's what it is. Yeah. That is the purpose of the plants. They bring them down there. That's it. They couldn't think of a better way to get them down there than the plants talking to them. Literally mimicking their voices and talking to them. Because the plants start to laugh at them. Yes. It's so dumb. Is this like some kind of weird like psycho trip that like they're not really doing it, but they are at the same time? Like I, I, I but I think they physically see them move. They physically see the plant move like, and like the plant like does things. At one point the one of the girls says something. Oh, and, and the, the bush grabs her. The plant, yeah. It's like it's a hive mind. Yeah. yeah. Now, if it wasn't for the Mayans, how quick do you think this shrubbery would spread across the universe? Oh, it'd be everywhere. You th- Like COVID fast? COVID fast. Like the flood? The flood fast. That's pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, like I'm talking <laughs> yeah. the last of us fast, like fungal infection fast. Wow. <laughs> wow. Some, that's some quick vine. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Remember that band, the vines? Was that a band? Or the yeah, hives? Well, yeah. No, it's the vines. No, it's the hives the too? Hives, the hives, yeah. But. Who's isn't, the vines? Isn't there a band called the Matt, vines? Matt, fact check the, the vines. <laughs> I could have sworn there was a band called the vines. Hey, chocolate girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're looking at that. Something something like, oh. See, this is the worst. Like when he's on his phone, I just want to take the phone. Yeah, the and vines. Break it. They are a rock. You band. know that he's not even looking up the vines. That's the thing. No, he's got to show proof now. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, now, yeah. He opened up a new tab. Yeah. What was on the tab before that? I actually only was had it, one tab open. Was it, was it dude? Was, was it dude snacks? Fake. No, no. Was it, it how to get away with slaughter? <laughs> Don't the, the vines have that one song that's like really popular? You're... You're the I, one looking at them. You could tell us. <laughs> you know, I actually think I might know what you're talking about. I don't, for sure. I think it might be this one. Is it the ride? Ride song? I don't know why I'm getting ride into my head. Yes, ride. Yeah. 2004 song by the I Mines. don't even remember how it goes, but I just remember the what's song. The, what's the stream count? A couple mil? <laughs> I know the, the hive. Vines? Yeah. The vines are pulling. Oh, my service um, in this room is not good. Oh, here we go. Uh, one million monthly listeners. That's yes. not bad for a, a band that's only released two, Their like song, a song. Ride has 23 million lo- views or listens. God, can you sing it or you let the flowers do it? I can't actually play it. I just realized because I know, we'll get copyrighted. I know the I hives. Ten stuff. seconds though. You get like ten Not seconds. Not really. Anymore. The, the the hives is the band that sings like two time ain't touching broken bones. That's a, that's a, that's the hive song I know. I know they probably sing some more, but that yeah. was my hives dance. There you go. Did you like it? Have you ever had hives? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. So we now establish the plants are sentient and they're attacking people. Ray Lewis and uh, I. And the, they start to see, like, their plants are, like, growing on them. Their clothes are starting to turn green. They do a really good job yeah. throughout the movie of the shirts so, like, and all their pants and stuff growing slowly on turn green throughout the movie. Next day, let's talk about what happens to them. Yeah, so uh, 
what's her name? Uh, the blonde girl. She's like, I feel it inside me. And she has plants just growing in her. Right. She it's says in that. The, it's in her fucking womb. Yeah. Yes. So she pulls it out. And that's when Matthias, they hear screaming, my legs. My legs. I can't feel my legs. And they, they pull off the blanket. And Matthias's legs have actually been eaten by the plant. So it looks like it's it, they're growing in the wounds, right? Yes. Like they're growing in the pain where the wounds are, where the mm-hmm. damage is. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. going to look through these red flowers. He's going to find a dead body. It's probably Heinrich. Yeah, I believe it is Heinrich. Uh, Matias's legs are now bone. Question, with, Mike. They find a body in the fucking yeah, Brian well. Just said, we just talked about. It. Oh, downstairs. You mean now? That wasn't Heinrich. That was Heinrich's girl from the opening. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. So Heinrich. So up Heinrich top. never made it down. No, Heinrich died up top. That's a shame. They couldn't die together. No, he threw his girl down there. Ruins. Man, Mine ruins. ruins. You know. Yep. <laughs> so they're gonna perform surgery on these legs, and this scene is graphic and the whole thing is just completely unnecessary to happen because they, i loved it they just bash his legs in with they, a rock they break yeah. the bones first and, he's and a doc then, he's a medical student and they carve it off with a knife <laughs> they cut it through yeah yeah and and they give him like i love how they're like you're not going to feel a single fucking thing and he screams he, really does. they're like here's some vo- here's some titos or whatever they give him the vodka, and like literally, I love how they don't even let the vodka sit in. They just give him the vodka, and then cut the fucking legs. Like, of course he's gonna feel it. Well, Jeff is convinced. He's like, he's got no nerve his damage. Nerve, his, yeah. his nerves are damaged. He can't feel things. And he's like, ah! <laughs> and, and and he's like, he was screaming, Jeff, and he's like, it was all visual. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of an asshole if you think about it, but he's also very stern. <laughs> <laughs> he's also so fucking chiseled. Yeah, he is a hot dude. Is he? Yeah, he's a hot dude. He's all right. Hot dude? He's 30. <laughs> That's a good age. <laughs> I mean, they say he's 22, but like we know he's 30. Yeah, we established there's no way. There's no Also, way. like the knife they used to cut his legs, wasn't that shit? It's so like, dull. That's just like a kitchen knife, It's dude. such a dull that knife. That ain't cutting through nothing. I love this storyline here. They're like, you guys are going to go down. You're going to use this torch. Little do you know these plants do not catch on fire. They yeah. eat the fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the whole thing. That'd be like my first plan. I'd be like, okay, let's burn this place to the fucking ground. Yeah, the, all the whole thing is just absurd. I, I want to point out as like the blonde girl story progresses where like you actually see the plant like moving in her. So they start like cutting her open yeah. and like pulling them out. It does lead to the funniest line of the entire movie. <laughs> Because the cutting line, no, no, it, well, because as, yeah, because as they're like cutting it out, and the girl's like saying, I feel more, and they see it like squiggle in her forehead, Matias is getting murdered yeah. next to them, yeah. And then when they realize and go to check, <laughs> Sean Ashmore just says, Well, it's a good thing we cut his legs off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I miss that, and that's, it's legitimately yo, so brutal. fucking The vines funny. are like yeah. going in his mouth and just like choking him out. Just basically just like consuming his body. <laughs> he really says that? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Really Sean yeah. Ashmore a little bit. Jim Ellie goes, well, it's a good thing we cut his legs off. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, it was, it, honestly, I like laughed at it. Not even like a chuckle. I was laughing. I thought that was really Doesn't, funny. I think this whole movie is a metaphor for just like marijuana killing you. Because like, look at all that marijuana. It literally looks exactly it, like That's pot. a marijuana uh, yeah. plant. The, you, you know what? Maybe this was an anti-drug movie. I think it really was, Shane. Shane, it like was. You, you smoke too much, it'll consume you. It'll and s- your personality. And, and it'll, it'll start it, crawling inside your skin. And, and then, oh, it gets in your brain. And it'll right. sing to you. And then it'll sing back to you if you get real high. <laughs> sing me a song. I'm the piano man. <coughs> God, you're God. scary. So this is where they go down with the torches, and this is where they start getting attacked by the shrubbery. Yeah, it just starts grabbing them and shit. It gets all handy. It literally just takes mm. the torches and eats them. Yeah, so you can't burn these plants. You can't stop them. I wonder They're if, unstoppable. if there was a way to stop the shrubs. Probably Agent Orange. Oh, my God. They do see this, like, dead body there. That's the girl from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that you, cunt from the beginning. Mike, you <laughs> didn't like Agent Orange? It clearly would work. It kills everything. Just ask the Vietnam War. Yeah? Like the war itself, ask it. Ask the war. Not the people in the war? <laughs> no, just the war. Yeah, got it. Cool. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thanks for saving me from Shane's absolute nonsense. Oh, you see, you're being mm. rude. You're being so rude L- right literally, now. Literally, they need to get pulled up 
It, these things chase them all the way up. These fucking shrubs. Hey, yeah. girl. So you're a pretty little girl, aren't you? So as we we've cut the stuff, the vines out of the girl. Matias is dead. They're all gonna go to sleep. They're gonna wake up to the blonde girl standing outside, carved. She has carved herself up. Right, and then there's like minor little things. How many days do you think? I think it's like three. Eclipse? I think it's about They're three. Not or so. there long. Yeah, either. so there's like some clear tension growing between the yes. group, and then that cheating plot point's brought up again at some point, which well, is completely well, pointless. Before she starts cutting herself, she actually just starts going fucking nuts because it starts getting in her head. Yes, because like she she she's like um, brings up the fact that Jenna they, Malone's character. Almost wanted, cheated, yeah. Almost cheated with Matthias. And Jeff's just like, I don't really fucking care at this point. Like, honestly. Which I, I actually get in this situation. Yeah. At this point, what the fuck does that matter? Yeah. I just That's wanna... why I said it's completely pointless. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it's it, it's clear that like, she's a serial cheater. Yeah, which yeah is... she's a serial cheater. She talks with the Eric guy, Sean Ashmore's character, the night before. They're just talking, and she's, like, getting manipulated by this thing mm-hmm. that, like, they're cheating. And, like, it's over, and now I need to just literally cut every orifice of my body. Yeah. So, doesn't the blonde come out and, like, yeah, said, she's, she's, I, she's yeah. like, I heard, I heard you, guys you guys fucking. fucking. Yeah. yeah. I think the plant, like Brian so, says, in her brain. She's like, no, yeah, you guys were fucking. Yeah. And because of that, I literally need to cut myself everywhere, including my forehead. Yeah. So, they, they're, they're all in me, because they got, dude, when, when Jeff was cutting out, number one, Jeff, I feel like, was cutting Way deeper than he needed to cut. First of all, like like that one back one, he literally just yeah. like cut yeah. her open. Yeah. Probably hates this girl. He's probably like a reincarnate of Shane. <laughs> just cutting girls Shane cut deep. deep. Yeah, yeah real for sure. Deep. Oh, that's crazy. Um, so they're gonna try to get the knife from her as she's cutting herself. She slices Jeff on the th- the the middle of the hand. Yeah. So this fucking part, this guy's an idiot. Yeah. She's, she's clearly lost her mind. Just cut his friend's hand in half. And he still goes up to her. So he get, takes a swift knife to the chest. Yeah, right in the heart. Yeah. So after that, they mercy kill Stacy. What What do they do to her again? They kill her off camera. Oh. You just hear her screaming, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. And then she just stops. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, and like this, this is the scene where like fucking... Uh, is this the scene where Matthias dies? No, no he's dead already. Oh, he's dead because of the yeah. arguing, yeah. So, at this point, yeah, after they mercy kill her, this is when Jeff comes up with a plan. Yeah. I'm going to get you out of here. And he covers Jenna Malone in blood. It's only him and Jenna Malone at this point. Yes. So, he covers Jenna Malone in blood. Who's and you're blood? thinking... Who's blood? You're thinking... Who's blood? You're thinking, mm-hmm. why is he covering her in blood? What could be the motivation for something yeah. as crazy as this? So he brings her down to the bottom of the temple. Okay. He places her down on the ground. He walks away from her to yeah. the right. Mm-hmm. No. And he's like, did you even know her name? <laughs> he goes to the right. Like yeah. He's like, clearly you didn't know. Let me tell you my name. And yeah. he starts really telling them, these people that clearly don't understand what the fuck they're talking about. He completely names. doxes himself. Gives away his address, where he lives, where he went to school. And basically a sacrifice. Yes, because he yells her name. That's her cue to run away. And then they instantly pile about 14 arrows into into Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's yeah. dead. Yeah, I mean he was never he's like he's like, you go and like I'll be here and you could get rescued, but there was he was he was going on a death mission. Yes. Yeah, he knew it. We all knew it. He had to sell it so she can get away. And I'll be honest with you, she she does. She's gonna ride this June buggy, but but Shane, okay. You see, okay, the uh-huh. little squiggly vine in her face. She didn't make it far. She didn't make it out of Mexico. Well, no, I think the implication oh. is she made it out of Mexico and, and spreading with it. the spread of the vine. So you're saying if you did a sequel to the ruins, you she would has have COVID. It take it. <laughs> Oh my god! This is the start of she's COVID. patient zero. It wasn't the fucking bats or whatever. No, it was Jim it wasn't. Malone's face. It wasn't China. No, China. It was Mexico. Also, why can't the Mayans like they can't see blood or something? What do you mean? Just because she covered in in blood, that wouldn't make her invisible. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just they thought she was dead, so she didn't, they didn't pay attention to her. Because as Brian established early, there was literally just four Mayans. <laughs> There's literally and the, the fifty that they're talking about are like literally the family and kids that they'll kill on a whim if they get a plant tossed at them. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, she gets away. Yeah, potentially spreading it. We know the whole drill. And the Greeks show up. Those Greeks, Greeks. are finally here. Days Which is later. Fun. It's funny because that was Jeff's plan to just wait for the Greeks the whole time. They literally slept for like t- like 72 hours. Yep. And then they did finally show up. Yep, and they're going to be the next ones. So yes. that's that. Yeah. And that's the ruins. There was never a sequel because no one wants to see plants sing. Honestly, you can't do the, a sequel. Like, no. you, I guess you could, but no one would literally watch it. <laughs> but then I guess, you know, that's what happens with sequels. Like, how many times have we said, like, this movie doesn't need a sequel? And then there is you one. You make a sequel and it's, like, dreadful, but we have to watch it. This movie could have easily done that. It could have been literally awful because how many times, like you said, can you see these red flowers saying that don't appear for the first 48 hours of the film? It's true. It's true. And then you get, a, like, something like Wolf Cop, which clearly needed a sequel. Yeah, and it actually needs and 14 it of them. Brilliant. It does need more sequels. Yeah. That, that, that so sequel, great. the sequels are just as good as the original. The sequel was fucking lit. I agree. I completely agree. So, so my review of The Ruins. Oh. Uh, I like it up until the yeah. obvious point that we all agree on, but that part is so stupid. <laughs> it really does take away from this movie, but I still think I'm going to land on a six. Whoa. Wow. One. Cause I like, honestly, I like the first half of this movie to be fair. I like the second half of the movie for, yeah. for the most part. I just think the plants being this like mimicking whatever it's just really really stupid and i do think the characters do kind of stupid things mainly like actually trying to go down and get matthias and like then amputating his legs mm-hmm. when clearly this man is just dead already so like dead. there was never any getting him he was out. never had a shot to yeah live. they kind of do everything in their power to get infected by constantly going down into the, the mayan ruins mm-hmm. and it's kind of dumb so i think a six out of ten is fair cool so if i were to do a sequel to this movie i would have her go home to like chicago mm-hmm and then she's like at a ball game, right? <laughs> you get where I'm going? Wrigley Field? Wrigley Field. And then it becomes a movie about killer ball players. Yeah, because the Ivy in, in center field. One of the like the center fielder runs to like make an awesome catch, but he gets infected with shrub. Who's the center fielder? <laughs> Probably um Vernon Wells. Yeah, I'll put him in the movie. <laughs> I'll give him a starting Is role. Is he still playing baseball? No. But yeah. I kind of want Vernon Wells. to be a killer. <laughs> no, Vernon? I just think like Vernon Wells. He 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 he's a name. He'd be cool in that. If you were to have like center fielders, I could only think of three off the top of my head because I feel like they're always in center Juan field. Juan Pierre, Vernon Wells. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Vernon Wells, Tory Hunter. That's a good one. Uh, I had Tory would Jim come. Edmonds. Literally, I swear to you, that was the third one. And Jim would dive head first if he knew that shrub was a killer <laughs> shrub. He'd still dive head first. As long it. as he's making the catch, Jim yeah. Edmonds, one of the best outfielders I've ever right. seen. That's don't a care about love that guy. Time love to do Jim a real Edmonds. review about the movie. I can't really say much more than what you said. So, what's your rating? It's a good premise. There's a lot of goofy shit, shrubbery included. Um, acting solid. A lot of dumb decisions. Um, What'd you say? Six. You give a six. I'm going to double down. Six. Okay. Yeah. Brian. I'm going to triple down. Oh, we got Whoa! a triple down. Yeah. Oh, is this our first six, six, six? six, six? six? Oh, my God. That's scary. So this movie's definitely... Hell Diablo. Like, I can see why some people like this movie. Like, it is a seven, except for those fucking flowers. They right. legitimately right. are so unnecessary. They That's the stupidest plot device of all time to get them into the ruins. Like legitimately takes this movie down an entire point. And that's a, that's a large drop in the mm-hmm. show because mm-hmm. we don't do decimals. So this movie is a clean six. Clean. Great premise like you both have said. Very entertaining. Then you see the vibrating flowers talk and they they, they blossom red out of nowhere. Like it's... It's it's a little unfathomable, but I do like some of the pieces, like the Mayans preserving the outsides, mm-hmm. dropping the salts, keeping them quarantined. It does make you ask a lot of questions. Like it's honestly a solid film until that happens. So one thing is interesting though is just the fucking all these guys are all these characters are somewhat. Some of them are somewhat competent, and they allow 
this fucking most annoying character in the show to live all the way through and escape. Of course, she's probably going to die, but still. Yeah. Right. Like, she complains the whole time, and then she gets to get away. She's the one that gets away. She's the, fi- that. She's the final girl in this. Could yeah, you imagine? Yeah, kind of sick. She has every characteristic of not being the final girl. The blonde girl deserves to be more of the final girl. She was the one that opted to go down first. Yeah, she did yeah. a lot. She she did a lot of lifting for the squad. It's a shame that she's a fucking emo. Yeah, yeah. and early in the... Yeah. Cut her wrist, black her eye. And early in the movie, if you remember, she was butt naked. She was. We watched yeah. it. And I appreciated that. Of course you did. You I sick also up? think there should have been more Mayans, because Brian pointed out <laughs> very four. smartly that there's like four guys, yeah. and the rest are just like women. <laughs> but they were like and they, children. You know what's amazing? That they said that they counted like 50 or 60. There's no way they even Not saw even them. Close. They only saw the five, because they didn't see the family at, at all. Right? No. What if like they noticed like after they shrubbed that little boy, and he got popped in the skull... What if they just kept throwing shrubs at the Mayans? Would they have just like fucking shot themselves? Well, yeah, but they would have been. They would have shot them before they threw. I, the shrubs. I also want to call no, out like that's quick shrubbery. How heavy do they think that shrubbery is? Because Jenna Malone fucking tossed that yard to hit yeah. that boy. <laughs> like, there's no way it would go that far. Yo. She also had great accuracy. <laughs> she was like fucking. Dan Marino and, out and, there. And, it, and if they all knew that the shrubbery was dangerous, why would that boy just watch the shrubbery take aerial flight and hit him? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Do you point. think he know he knew he knew it was like his life was ending at that point? He seemed, he seemed pretty scared. Not that's, gonna lie. That's sad. He seemed pretty scared. That's sad. <sighs> well, now we can talk Necronomicon. You yep. putting in little boy? I'm actually gonna put in the uh, first kill of the movie. No, no. I am putting in... So, like, obviously, Matthias has the worst stuff in the movie. Yeah. But, because he just suffers all the way through, yeah. and I feel like it's completely undeserved. I have to... Uh, for me, I'm going to go with the random Mike Benanti lookalike, because Cannon that was, shit was so shocking. I kind of like that. I'm going with Cannon Fodder. Yeah. Is it because he was literally in the movie to fucking get popped? Yeah. It was shot. I didn't... That was brutal. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty that shocking. guy's got to have a name, right, in this movie? Matt, fact check the <laughs> cannon fodder's name. He's the he's, cat is on the seat, and I don't know if that cat is gonna like <laughs> look it produce up. Produce the show. I think the cat has some some skills. Yeah, it's really good at like blowing snoppables and pissing. <laughs> it's a it's a great pisser. Some would say the cat is the best pisser. Anyway, cannon fodder. I have no idea what your actual name is, but. You were Matthias' right-hand man. You knew the way around the jungle. You knew how to get to the Mayan temple. You knew it all. What you didn't know, though, was the plants were dangerous and that you can't barter with pissed-off Mayans. Everyone knows that. If the Mayans are angry, they're going to start blasting. And that's why you got your nose blasted off. So welcome to the Necronomicon cannon fodder. You know what's funny about that? You guys nominated... Him, I didn't get a say. That's okay though. <laughs> oh, what? Well, uh, he actually didn't. Yeah, it's because we raided well, two votes. What was yet? Well, I get majority wins, but you know, who would you have chosen? Who would you have chosen? Um, blonde head chick. Ah, well, you lost. Or Matia, <laughs> Matias, Matias, or maybe fucking Heinrich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so that's the ruins. We still got two more weeks left of travel month, and so we've been. To Europe. We've been in a lot. We've been to Brazil. We've been to Mexico. Now we're going to a lake. But a lake in England? <laughs> Is it an English lake? I think it's in England or Scotland yeah, or something so. like I that. So too. We're going to Eden Lake. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh my goodness. You if got Kelly Riley sexy, and Fastbender. Mm-hmm. It is. Yep. Because you got the Fastbender. Yeah. You got a smoking hot older redhead lady. Mm -hmm. I don't know her name, though. She's in uh, True Detective Season 2. Kelly Mm -hmm. Riley. Yep, Kelly Riley. There you go. You should have known that. So, with that said, we are the final podcast signing off, and we will see you next week where we get harassed by a ragtag group of hooligans. These kids are crazy. They're hooligans. They're also young. They're scary. I'm so scared. You know where to find us every Monday. You know it. It's www.thefinalpodcast.com for all the content. Please give us that subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on all social media platforms and listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We'll see you next week. Travel month continues. Bye.